Okay, let's... so this is the Redmi Note 9 MediaTek version. With the code name is Merlin, and it also known as the Redmi 10X 4G. Okay, so in this video, <coughs> I will show you how to flash the custom recovery, flash the custom ROM, and also make a quick review of the ROM. Okay, if it quite stable enough or not for Lily driver it will shown in the end of the video okay all the files and instruction I will provide in my blog so please check the description box okay so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, we meet again with Tom Bob. This time we have uh, another Xiaomi phone. This is the Redmi Note 9. Okay, uh, with the code name is Merlin. And it also has another name that called the Redmi 10X 4G. Okay, so this time we are going to try the custom this ROM using the Santaro S Android 12. Okay, so let's get started. Let's check the stock ROM. Let's go to the settings and about one. You can see right here it's using the Mu 12.0.5 based on Android 10 and uh, Mu 12. Okay, let's check the specs. <clears throat> it has 4 gigs of RAM and okay, this version. Okay, you can use whatever ram and internal storage you have okay it is not a problem okay and the first thing you need to do is you must unlock the pawn okay as usual let's go to the about pawn hit the main version five times and then go back go to the additional settings developer option and make sure you already unlock your pawn okay like this the me unlock status is unlocked okay you can do that by check my other video it's very simple all you need to do is just register your new account bound it and wait for seven days after you unlock it with the me unlock tools okay so this one is already be un unlocked okay let's turn it off now we want to go to the facebook button Okay, as usual, as boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time. <clears throat> okay, when you see screen, the rabbit, uh, it means that we are in the fast boot mode. Okay, let's plug in the USB cable and let's switch the screen this is the step and for the first step we need to flash the custom recovery okay that's find the files okay so in here i have two custom recovery the first one is for the all new version okay for the mu uh 11 this one and the second one is for the mu 12 Okay, so because we are using the Mu 12.0.5, uh, we are using, we are going to use this one, okay. This is for the 12.0.1 and up, uh, the up version of the Mu version, okay. Uh, okay, let's open the comment prompt. The first thing we need to do is flash the custom recovery, as usual. This type fast boot fast space recovery click and drag the file hit enter for that we want to put into the recovery okay so type the fast boot space reboot space recovery so it will boot and it will take times so bear with me <laughs> okay okay now we are in the custom recovery let's switch the screen 
usually when you first boot it will welcome you with the chinese language okay this is the version 3.4.2b okay uh, as i said before this is for the mu 12 and the person above it okay uh it's using the language uh, using the english language so usually when you first boot it will using the chinese language i will show you how to change it uh, like this one if you encounter a problem like this just go to this menu the second menu from the bottom right and select the globe icon hit the english okay the second one and hit this button okay it will change into the language okay now let's go to the web menu select format data tap yes hit enter hit the home button select reboot and recovery okay <clears throat> then <clears throat> for this we want to wipe the data delphic and cast k okay. so go to the wipe menu again okay this time go to the advanced swipe select the Del delphic data and cast and swipe it okay done and it's always a good idea to back up the email and baseband so let's go to the backup menu option tab check the enable compression go to the backup and let's find the nv data nvcfg and the nvram okay these three items uh have the information of your email and baseband okay so if there is something wrong when you're flashing custom ROM and you use email and baseband, you can always uh, restore this one. Okay. Now let's switch the screen again. <clears throat> let's open another explorer. Okay, let's copy this file to a safe place. Uh, we'll put it in here. let's copy the file okay <clears throat> and then we need to, cop to copy some files the first one is the firmware dash vendor merlin okay and size is about uh, 760 megabytes okay the second one is the nusantara 4.1 this is based on android 12 okay uh seems that we don't need this step in the previous version in the mu 11 and nusantara uh 11 we have to change the custom recovery so we can flash the rom but in this rom seems that we can directly flash from it okay and this is uh gap base it means that it's already included the gaps okay so you do not do not need to flash the gaps because it's already included and the last file is, is magis it is always optional okay if you don't like having a root access you can skip this one okay 
Uh, let's use again. Uh, did I already wipe the defect? In the case, I forgot. So let's wipe it again. <laughs> okay, let's go home and go to the install and press the former vendor. Swipe it. Okay, now it's flashing the promo update. <coughs> and just for your information, all the files and instruction I will provide in my blog. So please check the description box. Okay, if there's something that I'm I'm spoken that it's not clear you can always ask in the comment section okay guys if you uh, if I have the times and if I open the comment maybe I will reply for you okay now it's done let's go to the home screen again and select install again this time select the new center uh, for okay and if you find newer version of the rom you can always use that okay so for this video we're using the Nusantara 4.1 if but the, if there's Nusantara 4.2 or 3 you can always using the same step it finished okay and now let's reboot again into the recovery okay hit the home button select reboot and recovery okay this is the last step if you don't like images you can skip these steps okay Okay, now let's go to the install okay for the first second maybe the touch screen will be glad glitch and after five seconds you can use the start screen <coughs> okay there's something wrong with the camera okay let's continue go to the install uh, where is it and select the images okay we are using the canary the file will be included in the uh, in my blog okay okay now it's done let's hit the home button select wipe uh, Format data and tap yes. Okay. Just to make sure we want to format the data again. Okay. Now let's select reboot system and let's wait. Hmm. Nice. Now we are seeing the Nusantara boot logo. It means that our ROM is already replaced. Okay, the new ROM is already replaced with the Nusantara ROM. Okay, you should wait. Usually, it doesn't take long for the custom ROM to boot. Different from the. Eh, sorry, I mean usually using the custom ROM is usually very fast for the first but not like the mu rom that takes a long time okay
Okay, now we are in the Android wizard. Hmm. Okay, just hit next, next, next. Okay, it's different from the vanilla base. Usually, if you're using the vanilla base and the nick gaps or bit gaps, we don't see the wizard like this. Okay, usually we put it directly in the home screen. It's the same like we are using the open gaps. Okay, so all you need to do is just next, 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 something like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's select Kiparta. Next. <clears throat> Again. Okay, done. Now we are in the. Uh, home screen okay i will stop this video and let's continue with the quick review about this rom okay so guys now we are going to make a quick review a review about this rom if it's quite stable enough or not for the driver okay first thing i want to show you uh let's open the magis okay <clears throat> and you can see right here we have successfully installed using the latest one this in the canary okay and let's open the root checker <clears throat> let's hit check and grant it uh, you can see right here that red, your redmi note 9 is rooted on android 12 okay nice so the root is working properly if you want to hide the apps simply go to the settings enable the zygis and check the apps you want to hide right here okay i will not cover that one you can see in my other video okay it's link is in the description box okay <clears throat> and the second one let's check the gps let's skip it hit the white button right here and give it permission okay <clears throat> takes time let's check The GPS. Let's edit and of the location to up right here. Okay, the location is on. Let's open it again. And it's locking. Okay, this is my precise location. So there is no problem with the GPS. It's working correctly <clears throat> okay now let's open the uh, the camera okay we, we want to test front and back camera for taking a picture and also record the video okay I will take test picture and video and I will show you after it's done Okay, hello guys. Now I'm recording using the back camera and I will stop this video. Okay, now let's <clears throat> test the front camera. Let's take a picture and let's take a video. Okay, guys, now I am recording using the front camera and I will stop this video. Okay, let's check the result. okay i don't want to back up it okay so this is the result of the back camera quite decent and let's go back this is the result of the front camera and let's check the result of the video okay this is the video and i will stop this video guys now i'm recording this the back camera and i will stop this video Guys, now I'm okay, nice. Guys, now I'm recording this video on camera and I'm stopping this video. Guys, now. Okay, so the camera is working perfectly, okay? For recording video and taking a picture, there is no problem and the sound is quite decent. Usually, when using the custom ROM, you will have a small sound, but you can hear it. It has a lot of sound, okay? So, uh, for the next step, Let's open the YouTube. Okay. 
we want see how the video and sound playback okay let's find a video song Hey guys, so sound and video playback is working perfectly. Okay, let's check if the email is safe or not. Okay, go to the one dialer, get the star sharp 06 sharp. Okay, so our email, the first email, the second email is safe, so there is no problem. And for and for the Wi-Fi is working perfectly. You can see that while we're testing the YouTube, we're using the Wi-Fi. Okay. And if we turn off the Wi-Fi, oh sorry, I don't I have any card, but I can assure you, when the email is safe and the baseband is safe, you can <coughs> use it safety for the card. Okay. This is the menu. This is the new UI display from under 12 and it's clean from the blooded new software. Okay. Very nice. Better than stock from stock from okay. And if, if you want to customize you can always go to the Nusantara Wings. Okay, customize your teams, uh notification, whatever. Uh, battery option okay and button like notification and etc okay let's test the fingerprint uh, maybe some of you guys want to know if the fingerprint is working or not <coughs> okay uh, where is it mm, let's go to the security uh, sorry let's go to the security right here and fingerprints fingerprint and pattern okay let's set the pattern and let's test the fingerprint okay okay nice done let's lock the screen where is it uh, I cannot okay it's lock and let's open it and let's use the fingerprint okay it's working <laughs> so the fingerprint is working okay uh, let's start let's restart the phone let's see if there is any bug because usually for the mediative person uh, using the Android 12 Nusantara S, it will be, it will have a bug when it's restarting, it, it will not boot up, okay, and you can see the point, it, it is, is in boot up, okay, <laughs> but usually it doesn't, it, it is not a problem, you can always turn it on, okay, so we cannot restart the pawn. You can only turn off the pawn and turn it again. Okay. Okay, it, it has a nice green color. <clears throat> okay, uh, we'll remind you again. It is important to back up your email baseband. So make sure you have already back up your NPRAM, NP data and NPCF UD.
Okay, that's all guys. That's a quick review about the ROM. And it also means that our tutorial is over. Okay. So I've already shown you how to press the custom recovery, press the custom ROM and also make a quick review about the ROM. Okay. We have checked that the magic is working, the camera working, GPS, the sound and video is working also. The email is safe, the Wi-Fi is working and the only bug that I find is we cannot restart the phone, okay? So we only can turn off and turn it on. I think that is not a problem. Maybe it will be fixed in the next update, so... Please always check the custom ROM in my blog. Okay, that's all guys. I hope you like this video. If you like, please give it a thumb. I have a lot, I have a lot of video about custom ROM and routine. Please check my other video. Again, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make a new video. And that's all. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wassalamualaikum.